Hello and welcome to Is It A Good Idea To Microwave This? I'm your host, Jory Karen. America's pastime, roasting marshmallows. However, these marshmallows are too small to roast over a fire. I bet you can roast them in a microwave. Is it a good idea to microwave this? Let's find out. Here at the Jory Karen Laboratory, safety is our number one concern. That's why we have this giant tinfoil shield. It's to protect everything in our nut region. Uh-huh. And... Because nobody likes roasted nut regions. Nobody likes roasted nut regions. And we have these masks and goggles. Let's go into our laboratory. We also have these fans circulate the air. And our GE turntable microwave oven. It's... It's like if someone said, would you rather have the GE turntable microwave oven or a million dollars? I would choose the million dollars, but you're stupid, so what would you say? Yeah, I've been inhaling a lot of like iPod stuff, so um, I'd say the, the GE turntable microwave oven. Good work, douchebag. Okay, so... Put in some marshmallows. Whole bag, man. Do the whole bag. bag. Oh yeah, look at that. Looks good, man. Looks good. So I wonder how long I should put it in there for. Four, four, four. It's like a mountain of mallow right now. Look at the table. It's just like clunk. It's clunk, jiving. Clunk, clunk, clunk. We have mm. massive marshmallow growth. If anything, it looks like it's shrinking. We can have a scene out of Ghostbusters reenacted any minute now. Maybe the Michelin Man. Yeah. They're getting bigger. Oh man, they're getting bigger. Yeah. The mob's getting bigger. This beats the hell out of that uh, elementary school thing where you use marshmallows and toothpicks. Mm. Oh, that was lame. lame. You make little stick figures out of them. To learn about DNA and molecular bonds and stuff. In elementary school? I don't know. Maybe you just made stick figures. Mm. So it looks like I went to school and I'm getting cancer for a living. Nothing. We have effectively like doubled the amount of marshmallows we have in there. This, this is a great way to double your supply if you're like alone in the forest with a microwave. <laughs> and it's the only food you have to eat. No. Oh, it just farted. You farted? No, it did. Oh, okay. it looks like a cloud in there. It's a nice puffy white cloud. That's where mm. angels come from, kids. You stick a marshmallow in your microwave and you've got an angel. You want an angel to get its wings and you put a spark plug in there with it. Mm. That's true. It's like it's going to come alive. Dude, you are you just invented Cloverfield. Let's see what we uh, we did in there. From watching that, I'm just going to assume that I need my gloves, so I'm going to go ahead and put them on. I think pretty much any time on this show you should just assume you're going to get cancer anyway. Oh! Ew. Wow. That's not cool. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That is a sticky, sticky mess. Look at this. It looks like you took the Michelin Man and then shot him with a grenade. Like you took a grenade launcher and lodged one inside his abdomen and then it went off. <laughs> Thanks for that rather graphic picture you just painted there. I have to. Look what you're look what you're scraping up. It's so incredibly disgusting. Yeah. Now we're gonna use the pregnancy test box to clean up the mess. This doesn't look like it should be on a pregnancy test. Whoa, oh boy. Uh, this plate is really hot. Do you think? It looks like some sort of like right attack Spider-Man would use on the Hobgoblin or whatever, whatever his name or is. Or Mary Jane. <laughs> Ask your mom about that one, kids. You, you may be wondering, is it a good idea to microwave marshmallows in my home microwave? If you do, Put it on a paper towel and don't put it in there for 4 minutes and 44 seconds. That's it for Is it a good idea to microwave this? I'm your host, Jory Karen. And I am never going to clean this. Ugh. I bet you can roast them in a... Mm, I was going to say marshmallow. <laughs>